guys, I am already back with my uh, first like non VSG type video. Um, before I, I today I'm going to talk about fasting because I already have re received a lot of questions about it, and I get questions about it um, from the people who know that I am interested in it. So I figured I'd tackle that first. But before I get into that, I wanted to say I know I have a big red mark on my neck. I wear a crossbody purse. And I think I scraped my neck when I was taking it off. Um, it's it's uh, the material is seatbelt material, and so I think one day I might do like some of my favorite things videos, and I'll I'll feature that in it because that's like one of my favorite accessory items that I have. That's one. Two, it's a car video, and I am going to be watching the road. And I know sometimes it freaks people out when they watch a video and somebody is driving their car, but. I see no difference than, than in, like if you're having a conversation with somebody who's in your car or when I'm talking to my kids when they're in the car. So, um, in fact, this is probably safer than that because I can stop talking at any time. I don't have to listen to anybody else uh, and pay attention to what they're saying. I'm just paying attention to what I'm saying and to the road. So, if it makes you nervous to see somebody making a video and driving at the same time, you can go ahead and click it off because this whole video is going to be me driving. I just left work. It is Tuesday afternoon. I am on the way to the gym. I'm going to my step class. And then that's right after that is my um, total body sculpt class, which is like a weightlifting class. I just joined a... I think it's like a two-month challenge at my, my gym. I go to UFIT, and they have, I think it's called Countdown to Change. And, like, I don't expect to win. It's kind of like a Biggest Loser type style where the person who has the largest percentage of body, no, largest percent of weight lost at the end will win prizes. And I, I, I know that's not, like, what I'm aspiring to. So I'm just doing it for the fun of it. And I think there's other prizes you can win, too. And so, yeah. That's what I'm going for. Okay, so getting into the topic, fasting. Um, I'm going to take this like really beginner and I'll say I am not a medical professional. Um, I have no professional training in fasting. Um, I've just done a lot of research and I've ex done, I won't say a lot of experiments because I, I don't think I've done a lot of experiments. I have done experiments on myself, but I have a long way to go with trying things and figuring out exactly what I like and what works best for me. And uh, one thing I've learned over this journey with losing weight is that every stage you're in is kind of gonna evolve. And things that you think are exactly right now, two years from now, you probably won't. And I know that's probably where I am now. Things that I think are great now or work perfectly for me now, it's going to continue to evolve, which is why I named my last video, um, when I put in the title that, um, the only constant is change because it's true. Like, and if you, if you do it, if you're doing the same thing six years from now, or if I'm doing the same thing for six years from now, I'm doing something wrong because that means I'm not learning and growing and trying new things. So I, that being said, I don't think that I know everything. I know that probably what I'm doing isn't um, exactly perfect, but it's where I'm at right now in my journey with trying to grow and learn and try new things. So let's do the basics of fasting uh, for people who just don't really know what it is. And then I'll just at the very end talk a little bit about what I'm doing, but I probably won't go into great detail because I won't have time. So fasting is basically not eating. It's just not eating. So we all fast for some period of time, um, it's like when we're sleeping. So if you eat your, if you eat something at 10 o'clock at night and then you go straight to bed and you don't eat anything until eight o'clock the next morning, then you've just fasted for 10 hours. Um, so people naturally fast all the time. Um, using fasting as a weight loss tool or a weight maintenance tool or a Body, body recomposition tool or a healing tool is when you extend that fasting time uh, a little bit longer. And we'll get, I'll get into that um, further down, but there's multiple ways to fast. The most pure way to fast is just a water fast. Pure, water only, um, nothing else. Now, some people take that and say, well, you can also have black coffee or tea. Everything unsweetened, no artificial sweetener, nothing. Um, other people argue that that could that coffee could possibly break a fast 
Um, I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm just telling you what people say. Then um, they uh, there are some people who will let you have a little bit of um, like fat during the fast, or, or just a, like if you keep your calories less than 50 calories um, at a go, and like probably less than I don't know 200 calories in a day, then they'll say you, you haven't broken a fast. To stay in the purest form, I'd say stay with a water fast. That is a purest form of a water fa of, of fasting. I have notes, that's why I'm looking down. Um, then you have intermittent fasting. Um, well, you know, I'm a, let me take it a different route. The other kind of fasting is they have dry fasting, which I'm just now really learning about. Dry fasting is when you don't even drink water. You take in absolutely no water. So there's two kinds of dry fasting. There's hard dry fasting and soft dry fasting. Soft dry fasting, you can still have a shower and brush your teeth and like wash your hands and come in contact with liquid. Hard dry fasting is when you don't even do any of that. You know, bathe, you know, brush your teeth, you know, like I, I'm, I have no experience at all in dry fasting and I'm not recommending that. I'm not not recommending that. I'm just saying I don't really know much about it. It's just something I'm just now learning about. The other kind of fasting, which is the fasting that I have the most experience in, is fat fasting. And it's hard to find a lot of information on um, fat fasting because I don't think very many people actually do it. I first heard about it from another YouTuber. Um, his channel name is Scott the Truck Driver. And he does a lot of keto and he does a lot of fasting videos. And he talked about it one time in a video saying that he did it. and. Um, that it made fasting a lot easier if you, if you had some fat um, during your fast. Now, does it break a fast? Maybe. I don't know. Um, but what if you consume fat, fat does not spike your blood sugar and therefore it should not spike your insulin. Keeping insulin low is what causes your body to burn fat. Now, if you're taking in fat, your body's also burning that fat that you're taking in. But if you're burning more fat, like more calories than what you're actually taking in that your body is forced to tap into your body's fat stores so um, last year towards the end of the year John and I had gone to Oktoberfest in Munich and during that trip we took a, uh, a vacate like, uh, we took a tour of um, Dachau concentration camp and when we came back from that I was so moved by that I wanted to do a three day water fast in honor of the people who suffered there and I tried to and about mm, not maybe like 36 hours in my blood sugar like plummeted and um, I had to eat something and I had to um, get my blood sugar back up so I kind of gave it up and then that was right before I was getting ready to have my brachioplasty and I didn't feel like nutrition wise it was good for my body to f try fasting again like that uh, right before my surgery and I, I knew I definitely wouldn't do it in the six weeks to eight weeks following my surgery because I needed to heal and I didn't want to do any crazy experiments like that so that brought me I had my surgery at the beginning of November that brought me to Christmas I'm not gonna fast during the middle of Christmas um we did we traveled at um, New Year's and then when we got since then I've done uh, I think either three or four um, fat fast maybe four so what it is, is the way I, I do it is I just have my coffee with heavy cream. And I always have about, I don't know, three or four coffees, like big, like this size cup coffee um, every day anyway. Two would be my minimum to have, but on the days that I'm fasting, I'll have a lot of water. Um, and then I'll have like maybe three or four of these cups of coffee with heavy cream. Maybe I might put a little butter in it. It just depends on like if I'm trying to satisfy something. Um, the whole time I've done the fat fasting, I take my blood sugar multiple times throughout the day. I test my ketones just to see the change. I, that's the only time I really can test my ketones um, because you go into deep ketosis. I can tell you that I feel my best when I'm doing a fat fast. 
uh, I feel energetic. I go to my workout classes. I work out hard. I have tons of energy. It does not make me feel lethargic. I do not feel like I need anything to go to the gym. Um, in fact, usually on day three is when I feel my best. So I've done some that are kind of short, like 36 hours, done just over 48 hours. And then my longest one was, I want to say it was like 87 or 88 hours. And I could have gone longer, but we had friends coming in town and I was going to eat dinner that night. And I wanted to break it with um, some, break my fast with some uh, bone broth, which probably didn't technically break the fast because it wasn't that many calories. But so it might have been 80, I'll say 87 plus hours and um, felt fantastic. And I... I've dropped a lot of weight, but some of that weight you're going to gain right back just because of going from no food in your, in your system to having food in your system. Food has an actual weight, so of course you're going to gain a little bit. But um, I just, I'm right now for the next few weeks, I'm planning on, like when I am traveling this coming weekend, but um, we're not, we don't have any big trips uh, coming up. And I'm going to use the next few weeks to do a two to three day fast every week so I'll probably have like my like this week my last meal will be Wednesday night uh, for dinner and then I will just have coffee with cream and maybe a little butter on Thursday and Friday and probably until Saturday evening so it'll basically be 72 hours from Wednesday night until Saturday night I won't have any food and then I'll break my fast probably with something really yummy like steak you know I, I don't know I, I haven't even thought about what it is but um, it that is definitely I feel very good when I do that fast and I do my two classes on Thursday I'll do a step class on Friday and I'll do a step class Saturday morning um, and then I have other appointments and errands to run during the day on Saturday so that helps pass the time my, my biggest thing is I it's hard for me to do it from on a Saturday evening and on a Sunday because those are usually like my food prep times and um, the times I'm most exposed to food and so um, like on Thursdays and Fridays and Saturday mornings I'm very very busy with mom life and work life and fitness life so um, it distracts me from not eating so it, it's fine but between having VSG and being completely fat adapted with keto, I really have very, very little hunger. They'll have, I'll have little twinges of hunger at the certain times that I normally eat, and I'm still not sure if it's just like a habit, or if it's, if I really feel twinges of hunger, but like I don't get stomach growling, but I've been, I was a kind of VSGer who never really had hunger after surgery, so, um, and then doing keto just took away any other little like emptiness that I have I just I don't I don't get that way um, so I always say that I think VSGers or WLSs have an advantage with fasting and with keto because we already have a lack of the hunger um, hormone ghrelin so it, it's just we have the double incentive of to not eat so so that's what I've been doing. I've been fat fasting and I find it easy. My, my next step from here, I have two ways I'm, I'm going to try and go. One, I may try and go even more extended to maybe a four day uh, fat fast. Um, I don't know. We'll see about that. Or I could go with trying to do water fast. So I might do like a fat fast day and then the next two days only water fast or some combination of that for the three, for the 72 hours. I'm not sure yet. I'm happy with the fat fast right now. When I did it last week, I lost, I believe it was eight pounds. No, sorry, seven pounds in those, in, in, um, in the one week period that I did. So seven day period, but I only did the three day, not even, no, I did like just over 48 hour fat fast last week and I lost seven pounds during that time. Now, I... Like two days later, I gained back a pound, but not a big deal. So if it kind of moves the needle down a little bit, what I'm hoping to do is to lean out, to burn actual fat on my stomach and on my arms while I'm working out um, to build muscle. Contrary to popular belief, fasting is very muscle sparing, especially if you're keto adapted and fat adapted. If your body knows that you burn fat for fuel, it is not going to tap into your protein stores for fuel. 
It's gonna tap into your fat stores. It will not start tapping into your protein stores until you're so lean that you don't have hardly any body fat. And I'm certainly not there. I'm probably, the last time I had my DEXA scan, I was about 24% body fat. So I would love to do this. And we have a beach vacation coming up in June. I'd love to get another DEXA scan right before that and see if I can tap that needle down to like 22% maybe. I don't know. I don't even know what to expect. Something less than 24%. Um, but that is my goal is to just get leaner. So the scale the number on the scale may not change if I'm building muscle Which is what I'm hoping to do especially since, since I have my arm surgery. I would like to see some nice Muscle growth in my arms and definition in my arms. I'd like to see some um, abs. I really love to see abs. So um, Yeah, that's why I am doing this. That's my goal just to constantly improve myself and I'm gonna put a link to um, a website for Dr. Jason Fung. He has a clinic in Toronto and he's written books on called the Obesity Code and there's another book that he wrote, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but um, he talks about how fasting is muscle sparing and he explains it all in the scientific way, so I'll put the link there. It's way better than what I could ever do, um, but it, he makes it make a lot of sense. So. I'll do that. Um, also, another reason to do fasting is because it, um, it's, it, it uh, makes you go into a state of autophagy. Autophagy is basically, um, it's, it's, the word comes from self-eating. So it's when your body takes damaged cells and breaks them down and repurposes them and makes them, and so it, 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 this, can induce like help it they're found that it helps with cancer certainly fasting helps with type 2 diabetes it can basically reverse type 2 diabetes because it controls your insulin um but they like autoimmune disease can help which I, that's what i have with my arthritis so i am um, that's another reason why i'm doing this is to help my arthritis and inflammation issues so um auto autophagy um I was going to say there was a um, scientist who won the Nobel Prize in, I think it's physiology, wait, I got his name written down here, Yashimori o, uh, Osumi. Back in 2016, he won the Nobel Prize for his discoveries with autophagy and the benefits that can come with it. There's a lot of researchers out there doing research on autophagy and combining it with um, chemotherapy and to cure cancer. And you're not going to hear a lot about it because it, there's no money to be made in not eating. And this, that's why the research just hasn't been that extensive. So that's my quick summary, my quick, what, 18 minute summary on fa uh, fasting. If you have any questions, um, put them in the comments below and I can maybe get more in depth in what I know and find the research that I can link um, to answer some questions that you might have. Um, hope this was interesting and thanks for listening. Bye guys. Go out and make it happen.